Good evening everyone. I'm back today as I had promised yesterday and I have received part of my order from Paint Some Way. Just a disclaimer, these are all kits that I bought because they looked like they had a bunch of color blocking and they had nice cute colors. I'm really drawn into kind of childish art and stuff even though my style type and decoration styles are earthy, hippie plant things, but this kind of stuff really brings me joy for some reason, even though it's not really my preference. And I did open these all beforehand because I had to get the tism squeals out of the way. I don't know what it was with these kits. I wasn't this excited when I purchased them, but now that I actually have them and seeing them in person, someone my age should not be jumping around and squealing and like wiggling things and uh, I'm almost ashamed of how I reacted when I opened these if I'm being fully honest but that just goes to show how much joy cross stitch has actually been bringing me these past few months when life has just been kind of beating me down for the past year year or two at this point so these two of these are going to be similar First on the list is this one. On the website, its name is Cartoon Bear Rabbit, and the website says it's 50 by 60 centimeters. And this shares a listing with one of the other ones I bought. So this one is style 20 in the listing. And I'll open this up behind the camera. All right, so I don't think I've gotten this shade of blue before in one of these bags. I, I may have, I could be wrong. And it just comes with your adjustable thimble ring, the pom-pom to hold the needles, and then the needle threader. And I'm only gonna say it for this one kit, but every kit comes with these. And I also would like to add that I've been having trouble with about half of these that I've been receiving. And yes, I still got hair dye in my nails. I just showered and it's, it's not coming out. But about half of these that I've been getting, the area up here has been so rigid that it's just been breaking my yarn instead of threading it through my needle. But that being said, the rest of them still work perfectly fine. Or if I just find a needle with a slightly bigger head or eye, whatever. So there's that that I just kind of wanted to mention really quick. So here's the image, and it says Honey Time, which is just so cute. And you can see why this would kind of activate my, my squealing and childishness. It's just bright, happy things stimulate my, my simplistic brain. So, But it is super cute, even though I would not hang this up anywhere in my home. But I could definitely give it away to someone that had a child or an infant that had a nursery but I just absolutely love the butterflies and star confetti in the background and then down here I've been loving these flowers a lot lately and they're just symbolized in here and I I love it I'm obsessed Oop. so it is printed on that shiny paper and I will say, I discovered recently on one of my other patterns that I'm actively working on that this shiny paper does have a downside. This, the, if you get it wet, the wetness spreads further than it would on just a regular thick paper. And I think that's because this film is not letting water to pass through, so instead it just spreads out more. And if it dries while stuck together, it will peel the pattern up on both sides and just ruin it. So all of these kits come with the instructions and how to separate the threads for your cross stitch. Um, these are all 11 counts, so this one is 11 count. Let me see if I can... Meh. Move that out the way. 
So this is the printed pattern and there is not a single flaw on here that I could find. It is 40 colors, which is amazing. And you can see how easy this is gonna be to stitch. And I do like the big spaces because I can mindlessly do it while watching documentaries so I can still absorb new information, which is something I like to do when I'm stressed or overstimulated. I like to watch or listen to documentaries and podcasts and just kind of focus on learning new facts because learning definitely requires focus from your brain so it kind of distracts you from your day-to-day -day stuff if you need a mental break but it's just so cute and then the flowers are down here and I want to also mention that the only flaw on this entire pattern is up here but it did not come from the printed pattern it came from the canvas itself being wet because this part doesn't fold against any of the other parts of the pattern so that was not created from the pattern being wet there's no way it could have been it definitely came from the canvas the canvases were kind of like damp moist feeling when I opened them not sure if they still are because I got this mail about an hour ago right before I went to grab my son from the bus stop so I don't know if I've had this company before I may have like one or two from when I first started buying cross stitch because the image being over here and all of that but with the color layouts and I think this might be their name or their trade I'm not sure but it also kind of has like the printer marking kind of like what your printer does when it tests new ink but it's super beautiful super clear to read um, right down here 191 wide by 278 tall. And I did refold these so the full picture was front facing. Um, originally it was like this. I don't like that. I like to store my things where I know what I'm looking at as soon as I look at it. So I stored it front facing. So cute. So this is the canvas, here's the, I'm just going to fold this, here's the top half, you can see the bear and his big old cheeky cheeks, so cute, the adorable flowers that are hanging up from above, and this kind of matches one that I'm working on now, if you remember this one, it's they're not quite the same, but they're both flowers that hang down, and for some reason, I just love those. This is surged. Everything is gridded, and the printing is very easy to read everywhere. It's just so clear. Like, even right here, those... See, they're similar in shape and color, but it's still so, so easy to tell them apart. I am so stinking happy with this. I do, I almost don't blame myself for screeching anymore. And this is the bottom half. A little bit busier down here, but that's okay. You can see his little feet. His little feet. They're so cute. And then you can see the bottom of the girl's dress down here. And then just some long grass or tall grass coming out of here. Elephant grass, I don't remember what it's called. Just super cute, super simple. And then down here you kind of have their brand on it that is a little bit blown out. Um, I'm going to assume that's meant to say warm prompt. Sorry about that, my computer turned off. Oh, and I lost my spot on my page. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And I just, call me weird, but when I know they were printed right before making it to me and they still kind of have that dampness to it, I, I love to sniff them. 
because it smells like new. I don't know what it is, but when things are new and they're mine, I'm excited because it's mine and it's new. And you also never know how many people bought the same thing as you because I have bought diamond paintings uh, way before I did YouTube videos that I know for a fact were made to order and that I was the only one that bought one because they just weren't it. But for me, it, it was it for me. <laughs> So yeah, that's the first one's canvas. Bring the photo back in here. Where did I put it? And I knew this was going to happen before my package even arrived, especially when I knew that these had to be printed before they could be sent to me because I've been in contact with pretty much every single company that I've purchased from and then some because uh, I'm still waiting on some replacement orders, so we've just kind of been slowly doing a back and forth. So I knew they were going to come on these. And if you haven't noticed that I've been doing this, I've been muting my volume or lowering my volume only over the sections where I'm crinkling just to kind of minimize that for you. So I am actually so excited about this because this means I don't have to be throwing and dragging all my floss everywhere or all over my bed when I'm cross stitching at night or days when my legs are too weak to hold me or I'm too fatigued to sit up. So these are great because I only have to have out what I need out. But also, if they, c I mean it depends. If you got the ones like this that were long like this, this is reducing paper waste because you won't have all those extra unused sections and so this in a way is a good thing because we're reducing our mark and yes I know there's such thing as recycling but stuff most things can only get recycled a certain amount of times and then at the same time there's a lot of paper products you can't recycle because of certain additives or coatings that are on them but also realistically, most of what you try and recycle still ends up in the landfill because they can't possibly clean and repurpose every single thing that we recycle. And there's also just not enough companies that want to use that recycled product. So I think these are a blessing in disguise. And sorry about ranting on about that, but I just thought it was worth noting because I know some people aren't super happy about it but just try and think of the upsides that's what I say so this is going to be harder to show you though I think that's the only downside so I'm just going to lay this here and spread them out at the bottom and then I will flip it over actually it might be easier to do up here and I had some of these in my geisha one that I got from AliExpress as well. Not a lot, but there were maybe about half of my colors or half of my setups were in drops. So there's going to be a lot of white, which we know is going to go on the bear, lots of purples for the backgrounds, pinks for the flowers, blue for the grass and the clothing. Is there a skin tone in here? Oop. Right here. Some skin tones for her and I'm assuming what they're sitting on. I'm not really sure what that is. It kind of looks like they're not really gazebos. It's kind of like a gazebo but it's like miniature and it's cement and it doesn't have a roof over it, but it kind of serves the same purpose. I have some in my um, my hometown, and I actually used to have a few out back of my home, but no one maintained them anymore, so they kind of got gross and ugly, and yeah. But there's just all these beautiful colors in here, and each cross stitch I got today, even though they're all cutesy colors, they all give a different vibe. So, obviously the first thing I did was look at the floss, but that was the first thing I could see because 
gonna move the bulky floss out of the way. Look. If this were yarn, this would be like the best multicolor pom pom. They're so cute though. And I'm not sure how to pick these up, so. And I do have my own bags, or you can always just reuse a shopping bag. Or you can hang these on a coat hanger. So that was everything for kit one, and I'm sorry that took me 16 minutes. I promise I'll go faster in the next two. So again, you can see I folded the pattern so I can see my image. Again, more flowers, a bear, and instead of honey time, this one says honey night. Also simplistic, lots of cute flowers, and this time that kind of pedestal gazebo thing they were sitting on is now shrunken down and flattened, and it's a table. So you can definitely see the same methods and style from the artist. So this one is called Cartoon Bear Rabbit, which is the same name as the first one, but this is style 21. So down here, it looks like little bushes with cute little leaves, and I don't remember what these kinds of flowers are. I never remember things when I need to, but it's still super cute. They're eating cake, and look at the little bear so happy. And I think this bear's a female, and I believe, nope, because it's in a dress. Never mind. I thought maybe it was like a mini sailor's uniform to... Bring a boy and a girl to the art. But it's still super duper cute and it still has big flowers. So instructions and I wish my desk had more room. Uh, let me see if I can move you. So this time, this one only has 36 colors, but that is still a good amount. I still think it is super cute, easy to read. Again, there is no smudging on this canvas, except for on the picture over here where the fabric was still damp and transferred. But that's okay, I'm not super worried about it. So these big flowers that look like grapes, are still super cute. You've got the background down to the bear. You can clearly see the girl, the cake, the table, and her plate with a little bit on it. More of those flowers coming in down here, and it's just color blocking, color blocking, color blocking, and that is kind of what I need in my life right now. Oh no, wait, I folded it the bad way. Okay, good way. Uh. <coughs> Alright, so the corner got snipped a little bit. Um, again, it is surged. Right here is super saturated. Just big blocks of colors. This is definitely something if you need an easy stitch to do. And then again, the bottom is more busy. So, so saturated though. It hurts my eyes to look at this through my camera. I will adjust it in editing if it creates a visual problem and even down near the flowers it's like confetti but in a way where you can just continuously go on and on so there's just no way to get this wrong there's no way I 
total. And I'm not going to take all of these colors out just because I am on a bit of a time crunch and I do not want to fiddly diddle with them for an hour. So here are the colors, you can definitely tell. And also, you guys, I know some of you get upset when I don't take the colors out, but you also need to understand that I have very limited time in my day and very limited energy. And if I'm not preparing to sit down and cross stitch one of these, then taking this out is just gonna eat up like 10 minutes of my time each because my OCD will not let me put these back unless every single tag is facing the same way. So it's just not feasible for me to open all of these and I am so sorry. Um, I will happily show you the colors once I start these. I do want to start one of these, but I don't know if that's going to be tonight. So you can see right away the light pinks, several different shades of blue, white for the bear again, and obviously the clouds in the background. If you turn it sideways, you can see other blues peeking through, but you can see the rest of it come through because it's packaged in a way where it's folded, so you can see each side in different colors. This is like a creamy white pink. There's more shades of blue in here. It looks like... I don't know how to get rid of glare. There you go. Two shades of gray. It might be very hard for you to tell. And it, it looks like that is the only yellow in here. So I'm just going to shuffle through it, not take them out. Yep, yeah, so there's no hidden colors in the center. Everything that is in here you can see on either side. And this kit is the same dimensions as the first one with the same amount of stitches. So, another tiger. Same color and everything. And here is this picture. This girl was super adorable, but what drew me in was all the nice shades of aquas and blues and whites along with the accents of yellow. I just love when blue and yellow accent each other. Not dark blues, mind you. It has to be a lighter blue or like a turquoise or teal. So I just thought this was the most precious thing ever. And I plan to attempt to not do these because I just want her in it because she's super cute. And I I had this idea in my head before I bought this. Yeah, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I am just gonna have to follow what the pattern says and try and mimic what they're doing up here for the gradients and move that over here. And as you all know, I have plenty of my own floss on backup and I will be using from that stash. But this is just so cute. So this one is called Anime Girls, <laughs> so original, and it is also a 50 by 60, and I did check these all against each other, they definitely are all 60 by 50, 50 by 60, whatever. So here is this pattern, still very clear to see what everything is, but definitely less color blocking, which is to be expected with how detailed the original image is. But you can still clearly see where she is, the water ripples, and then the ducks. He did so cute. <laughs> the cutest little duck. And again, absolutely nothing wrong with the printing on this canvas. And again, instructions. This time we are back up to 40 colors. So this company is being perfect as far as I'm concerned. So 
so I'm not really seeing anything I personally would have a problem with. So I think these patterns are amazing. And I, I know some people are okay with smeared patterns. I am too, but I think it was Laura who said it. People pay for these things and they want to get what they paid for. And as, as a business owner, it doesn't matter what you pay for a product. You're supposed to get what they say you will get. So if you get a printed pattern and you can't read it, they did not provide the service that you have paid for. And they chose their prices, not you. So, and why, I mean, I don't care if I can still look past it. There's only ever been one pattern that was so bad I had to ask for the PDF of. But the reason I like mine to be crisp and clean, even though you can just do it off the canvas, is I want to keep these. Like what? I know I'm not going to get through everything I own in my lifetime, but what happens if I do one and I love it so much I want to do it again? Or if I pass away, I want to have the patterns at least to give on to someone else that may be crafty in my family. So these are something I plan to keep to kind of give away sentimental value and to just pass along. Or if, I don't know, I ever find some art club in person where people just go in and do crafts together and I can give them these patterns, I will happily do that. Now, I don't know if the company allows you to do that, but to be fair, patterns on here too. But yeah, I just want them to be readable in case I want to use them again. So as you would have expected, since these are all from the same factory. Surged around the edge, has all of the same things. Everything is very clear to see. Just like the printed pattern was. backside. Now there is a lot of greens down here, so definitely don't mindlessly do this. You could easily be doing the green square with the green line through it and accidentally start stitching over just the plain green squares. So you would definitely have to not be mindlessly stitching for some of these sections, but it is easy to see and clear enough to tell apart. And this one looks a little less smudged, so maybe now you can see better why I think it says Warm Prompt, which may even be the company name, I don't know. Uh, it looks like there's some bleed through on the back. Oh, because it's black. Yeah, that, that would explain it. But still, super cute. You can see her knees, her hands in her lap. Again, you can see the ducks very easily, and even though this does have like a lot of textures in it, it is still looking like it's going to be so easy to do, and I am absolutely in love with that. And again, the legend is also very easy to read. Sorry, if you couldn't hear, my son just squeaked in the background. He made me giggle, my little man. That's another reason I can't go through all of those and put them all back because I need to spend time with my son because he was at school all day and I miss him and he goes to bed in a few hours. Hi, honey. Mm. All right, so the pattern and then the colors definitely look a little more dulled down here, but I mean, That, that that should be fine, I guess. I'm not really going to complain about it as long as the colors are there, which looks like they will be kind of like the reflections on the water and the white, the dark blue that you can see in her hair. And right here is some like, which way do I? Dark turquoisey colors. 
some of this kind of even looks like gray, which I'm assuming could be like around here or in the clouds. And then it's it's mostly just blues and really, really faded yellows. And then the yellow for her dress. And, and then I see some greens and purple. Yeah, right here. It's like a dark purple. And it looks like there's one strand of green in there. I'm not... I think the green goes up in here, but where I'm not using that, I guess I now have a little bit of green. Maybe down here, there's like one shadow that looks like it might have some green in there, but it also looks like it could have been converted to the gray color. And then there's like this yellowy green. It looks like it's showing up more yellow on my camera but that is fine. And they do have the codes on everything, so. So these are the first three kits that I have received from Paint Some Way. Let me count here. And I have four more coming, three of them I chose. One of them was a blind box because I purchased enough to get a blind box. So I'm not sure what's gonna come in there, but the other ones, I think, yep, the last three that are coming are all Joy Sundays. I evened out my order from three generics and three Joy Sundays because I'm starting to lose my balance and like on how many of these versus how many Joy Sundays versus how many licensed kits I have. And I kind of want to even that out for my own sanity because I've shown you before, I store all of my cross stitch in like those felt cube things and I don't want to have more cubes of one than the other or not have enough of one brand to fill up a cube because I do separate and organize all of these by several different categories. <laughs> Don't ask. But yeah, so these are the three adorable, super fun, colorful, happy kits that I bought from Paint Some Way. And I will label this video as part one. If you want to see the Joy Sunday ones, keep your eye open for part two. Thank you for watching my video today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you had any ideas of what you would do with this, maybe even sew these two together and make a pillow, let me know. Just give me some ideas because I don't want to give away all of these, but like I said, these aren't things I would hang on my wall, but not things I necessarily want to get rid of because I bought them for a reason. So thank you guys for coming and looking at these kids with me. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Wish me luck tomorrow uh, tomorrow tomorrow night and Saturday because the effects of the hurricane are going to be hitting us by then it does look like it has or they're predicting the path is not going to make landfall on us now so hopefully the threat is not as bad but we still may lose power so I may not be active for the next three or four days sadly that's just how bad my electricity tends to stay on. Someone could fart in this house and the power would just go out. It'd be like, nope, that was too much wind. We're done. So this might be the last video I post for a few days, but don't give up hope. I will come back. Thank you for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.